So we are going to start a new topic, which is linear programming. And the first thing that we are going to look at are the types of lines. There are two types of lines. We have solid lines and dotted lines. So there are two types of lines. We have solid lines and dotted lines. So types, types of lines. We have uh, solid lines. So these are written in this form. Just a straight line. Or it can be written in this form or in this form. Then we also have dotted lines. So dotted lines are given in this form. Or they can be drawn in this form or in this form. So these are the two types of lines. Let us proceed. Let us now look at the types of signs. So signs. So the types of signs you can either have less than or greater than or you can either have less than or, or equal to or greater than or equal to let us look at another another thing which is shading and uh, for shading the first sign that we're going to look at is less than so the less than is used you can use less than to shade on the left side so when you have uh less than uh in the in inequality that you have been given that means you need to shade on the left side or below so less than means shading on the left or below what about uh, greater than? So greater than means shading on the right or above or above that line. And we use less than or greater than when the lines are dotted. So less than or greater than are used when the lines are dotted. So Note that less than or greater than is used to draw dotted lines. Let us look at less than or equal to. So less than or equal to. So less than or equal to is used to to shade on the left or below. So when you have less than or equal to in the inequality, you shade on the left or below. Then my number four, I have greater than or equal to. So this one you shade on the right or above. Then when you have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, that means that the line must be a solid line. So take note. So note that uh, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to is used to draw solid lines. Let us look at some of the examples.
have the example there in the trades so uh, show the solutions of the following in the first question I have x is less than 0 so to show my x is less than 0 the first thing I'll say x is equal to 0 so the first thing I need to draw x is uh, equal to 0 so I have my y axis I have my x axis I have my 1 I have my 2 I have 1 2 negative 1 negative 1 so drawing x is equal to 0 I know that this it is this straight line that's x is equal to 0 but here you need to take into consideration the sign which is less than that means that the line must be a dotted line so this means this line must be a dotted line so that's the line this same line but I've already drawn the y-axis which is solid line but it has to be a dotted, a dotted line and shading uh, on this dotted line uh, since it says x is less than uh, 0 that means I'm going to shade on the left side so I'll shade this part and if I shade that part that means that I have found the solution And that means that I have found uh, the solution. Let us proceed. Sorry about that. Let us look at the second example. So for the second example, I have y is greater than 0 so the first thing that I'm going to draw is y is equal to 0 so I have my y-axis and my x-axis that's 1 2 I have 1 here 2 I have negative 1 I have negative 1 and y is equals to 0 is this line which is the y-axis and since I've already drawn the y-axis this has to be a dotted line so you need to represent it with a dotted line and looking at the sign here the sign is greater than that means I need to shade on the uh, upper side and I've represented y is greater than 0 let us look at another example which is x is greater than or equal to 3 so I have my y, y axis and my x axis I have 1, 2, 3 negative 1, negative 1 so the first thing that I'm going to do is to identify x is equals to 3 and x is equals to 3 it is at this point and looking at the line the line has to be a solid line because this is greater than or equal to so I'm going to draw a solid line and uh, greater than or equal to that means I need to shade on the right side let us look at another example y is greater than uh, y is greater than or equal to negative 3 
I have my y axis x I have my one here I have one two three I have negative one negative two negative three negative one so the first thing I need to identify y is equal to uh, negative three and y is equal to negative three it is uh, it is uh, at this at this point that's y is equal to negative three and seeing the sign here the sign is greater than or equal to that means that the line has to be a solid line and since it is greater than or equal to I'm going to shade on the upper side let us look at another example this is y is less than x So the first thing I'm going to identify y is equal to x. So y is equals to x is the line that passes at the middle here at 0 comma 0 going this way. And since this is less than that means it has to be a dotted line. So it will be in this form. And since the sign is less than that means I'm going to shade on the uh, below part. So I'm going to shade below let us look at another example example 6 So this is x plus y is less than or equal to 4. So the first thing I'm going to write my equation. So that means that this is going to be x plus y is equal to 4. And I'm going to make y the subject of the formula. And that means y is equal to negative 4 plus 4. And I'm going to draw my table of values. So I'll put my x and my y, then I'll put my 0 here and my 0. So when x is 0 here, that means my y is, go is going to be 4. This is going to, this is, be, this is because it's going to be 0 plus 4, which is 4. So this is going to be 4. Then when my y is 0, so when y is 0, that is going to be 0 is equal to negative x plus 4. And negative 4 is going to go this side. That means it's going to be negative 4 is equal to negative x. So divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. So x is equal to negative 4 divided by negative 1, that's 4. So I need to draw the graph which shows 0, 0,4 and 4,0. So my first coordinate is 0, 0,4. So 0, 0,4 it's here. My second coordinate is 4,0 which is here. And taking into consideration the sign there, the sign is less than or equal to. And that means that the line has to be a solid line. So let us draw our line. And since the sign is less than or equal to, that means that we are going to shade the below part. 
so we're going to shade the bottom part and we have actually represented uh, that inequality let us look at another example which is y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3 so I'm going to do uh, the same thing I'm going to make this as an equation so this is going to be y is equal to 2x plus uh, sorry this is uh, 6 so 2x plus 6 and I'm going to make my table of values So when x is 0, that means it's going to be 2 multiplied by 0, that's 0, plus 6, that's going to be 6. Then when y is 0, uh, when y is 0, so that, that's going to be 0 is equal to 2x plus 6. So 6 is going to come this side to be negative 6 is equals to 2x divided by 2 divided by 2, x is equals to negative 3. So my x is going to be negative 3 and let us draw that so I have my 1 here I have negative 1 negative 2 and negative 3 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 here. I have my negative 1. So the first coordinate is 0, 6, which is here. And the second coordinate is negative 3, 0, which is here. And identifying the sign here, the sign is uh, less than or equal to that means that the line has to be a solid line and identifying the side that I'm going to shade since this is less than or equal to that means that I need to shade the bottom part so this is how you represent the inequalities on the graphs where you have questions you can ask in the group thank you